Hello and welcome to the Daily English News program in Azerbaijan television with the most important events of the day. I'm your host, Lilius Sindi. An authorized representative office of the President of the Republic of Azerbaijan was established in the Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic. President Tehama Aliyev signed a decree in this regard. According to the decree, regulation on the authorized representation of the President of the Republic of Azerbaijan in the Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic was approved. President Ilham Aliyev also signed the order on the appointment of the plenipotentiary representative of the President of the Republic of Azerbaijan in the Khchivan Autonomous Republic. According to the order, Fuad Wahid Oglu Najafli was appointed as plenipotentiary representative of the President of the Republic of Azerbaijan in the Khchivan Autonomous Republic. On December 22nd, President Ilham Aliyev received Fuad Najafli appointed as a plenipotentiary representative of the President of the Republic of Azerbaijan in the Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic and gave him relevant instructions. Large-scale works implemented thanks to the constant attention of President Ilham Aliyev to the Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic and by his direct orders including the implementation of large infrastructure projects, ensuring 100% provision of gasification in Nakhchivan, energy supply, the construction of modern roads, building of health and educational facilities, creation of new jobs were mentioned at the meeting. It was emphasized that a large amount of subsidies from the state budget was allocated annually to the Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic. President Ilham Aliyev instructed Fuad Najafli as a plenipotential representative to make every effort towards taking care of people, fighting against corruption and bribery, implementing transparent proper personnel policy and working in close contact with the central executive bodies. Fuad Najafli expresses gratitude to the head of state for the high confidence placed in him and assured President Ilham Aliyev that all activities will be carried out based on the policy of the president and that he will spare no effort to ensure the large-scale reforms carried out throughout the country and in the Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic. President of Azerbaijan Ilham Aliyev received letters of congratulations on the occasion of his birthday. For President of the People's Republic of China, Xi Jinping, President of the Republic of Kazakhstan, Kasim Jomar Tokayev, President of the Republic of Uzbekistan, Shavkat Mirziyoyev, President of the Republic of Latvia, Egil Slevtsis, President of the Republic of Belarus, Alexander Lukashenko, King of Jordan, Abdullah II bin Al Hussein, President of Turkmenistan, Serdar Perdi Muhammadov, President of the Republic of Tajikistan, Imam Ali Rahmon, President of the Republic of Moldova, Maya Sandow, and Prime Minister of Georgia, Irakli Garibashvili. The head of state and government wished robust health and happiness to the head of our state and success in his initiatives. Foreign Minister Jehun Bayramov and his Russian counterpart, Sergei Lavrov, had a telephone conversation. According to the Foreign Ministry, the station in the region and around the Lachin Road, as well as implementations of the trilateral statements, were discussed. Jehun Bayramov pointed out that the Azerbaijani side guarantees the safety of the movement of citizens, vehicles and cargo on the Lachin Road in accordance with its obligations, and that the road is open, as can be seen by the videos of the movement of the International Committee of the Red Cross, our main emergency medical vehicles, cars of the peacekeeping contingent and other vehicles. Despite the creation of conditions for the use of the road for humanitarian purposes, it was stated that it is unacceptable for the Armenian side and those who present themselves as representatives of the Armenian residents in the territories of Azerbaijan to prevent the population from using the road and artificially create the impression of a deterioration in the humanitarian situation. The 122nd volume of Ilham Aliyev, Development is Our Goal, multi-volume book has been published. The book features President Ilham Aliyev's official visits to Italy, Uzbekistan, Bulgaria and Kyrgyz Republics, as well as his participation in the opening ceremony of the new building of the Azerbaijani Embassy in Italy. Readers were also informed about President Ilham Aliyev's participation in the 48th International Chernobyl Forum, Shanghai Cooperation Organization Summit in Uzbekistan on the topic View of the World, Europe and Italy, and today's and tomorrow's scenario for competitive strategies. The book also highlights the president's interviews to Azerbaijan television channels and the Italian newspaper Il Sora 24 Ore. This volume includes materials related to the visit of the head of state to Lachin region and his participation in the flag raising ceremony, as well as his visits to Fizuli, Agdam regions and the city of Shusha. The materials included in the volume covers the period from September to October of this year. A ceremonial event was held in Skopje, the capital of North Macedonia, on occasion of the Turkish Language Education Day. The speaker said that Turks living in the country play an active role in social, political, socio-economic and scientific cultural life of the country. The event took place within the framework of the Union Azerbaijan Party delegation's visit to North Macedonia. The delegation was headed by Tair Budalov, deputy chairman of Union Azerbaijan Party, Prime Minister Dimitar Kavachevsky, 
expressing his satisfaction with seeing the Azerbaijan delegation in his country, spoke about North Macedonia's relations with Azerbaijan. The deputy chairman of YAP spoke about the strategically important projects implemented at the initiative of Azerbaijan. The period of the special quarantine regime in Azerbaijan has been extended. This was announced in the relevant decision of the Cabinet of Ministers. According to the decision, in order to prevent the spread of the coronavirus infection in the country and the consequences it may cause, the period of the special quarantine regime in the territory of Azerbaijan has been extended until March 1, 2023 at 6 p.m. Previously, this period was planned until January 1, 2023. That was all for the day. Thank you for being with us and see you next time.